This is how my Soval SVO6 Plus looks when I'm not using it. Instead of a big ugly enclosure, I realized I just need dust covers for the exposed rods to prevent dust particles from mixing with the grease and entering the bearings. I came up with a complete system of covers for all axes. So this is how it works. Home your extruder before turning off if it's higher than a certain point. Turn it off. Motors are unlocked so you can push the bed all the way to the back to cover most of the rods in the back and push your extruder all the way to the left side. Then you can install the Y axis cover. It installs in the front here and you see it covers even from the side the two rods and the belt in the middle. The rest of the belt and rods are covered by the bed. The next is the X axis cover. It has two collars so it fits on the extruder and the right side snaps into place and covers these rods all the way down both of the rods and the belt between them. Now the z-axis cover has two parts because it can adjust to various z-axis heights. If it's all the way in the home position you will need to extend it all the way but this is how you insert it. You see there is a slot on the side so you just match this slot, uh, pull it over the rods. Notice the top snaps into place and you can just drop the bottom and it's going to cover these rods. The same on the other side. So I just pull it over the rods, snap the top into place and drop it all the way down and it covers all the rods from dust. These uh, z-axis covers stay together so they are uh, printed in the way or designed in, in a way so they fit together and even if your if your extruder is or z height is all the way up here you don't have to home it you can apply it in this position as well or all the way down here i designed all six pieces to be printed vertically orient them the way they are shown here just make sure to apply a big enough brim on the bottom for good bed adhesion. I designed them to use the least amount of material, less than 200 grams in total. Most of the surfaces are made up of just two lines, which can be printed very quickly, thin but rigid enough because of their curved shapes. Each axis cover can be printed in about two hours. The vertical axis covers one plus one hour each side. I used PETG for its durability. Out of PLA it will be less flexible but I'm sure it's doable. You will find these links to the STL files also in the video description. Just don't forget to take them off before starting to print or before turning on the printer. So I advise you not to print it in a color that matches your printer. I first did it, this was my first design in black, uh, which went into the X-axis cover, which looks pretty nice and it even has the text on it, SVC06+, but it was too similar to the color of the printer and I forgot it a couple of times, nothing bad happened, the extruder couldn't move. So uh, my advice is to use some other color different from the other colors in the printer so you notice. But I think if you just look at it, it's hard not to notice that something is installed on top of this printer.